Welcome to ClickMyProject.com. Let's discuss the project about automatic glucoma detection using hybrid feature extraction in retinal thunder images. In this paper, we have presented a new automatic glucoma diagnosis system. Glucoma is one of the most common cause of blindness. Our proposed work discussed a system for the automatic identification of normal and glucoma classes using higher order spectra, rise transform and discrete yellow transform features. First, we pre-process the input image. For pre-processing, we are applying two techniques, namely histogram equalization and random transform. Histogram equalization for enhance the image and random transform is to create an image from scattering data which is associated with cross correction scans of an object. It transforms 2D images with lines into a domain of possible line parameters where each line in the image will give a peak that is positioned to reflect the corresponding line parameters and then features are extracted using a combination of HOS, TT and DWT features from digital fungus images. Extracted features are passed through a spin classifier. Finally, we classify whether the input image is glucoma affected or not. This is our flow of our process. First, we load our input image. Then, we will apply pre-processing step to our input image. Here, we are using two techniques to pre-process our input image, namely histogram equalization and radon transform. In histogram equalization, color my images are converted to grayscale images when the contrast is improved by increasing the dynamic range of the image histogram. This technique assigns pixel intensity values from an input image such that the output image contains a uniform distribution of intensities. And then radon transform is applied. Radon transform is widely used in the computer tomography to create an image from scattering data which is associated with cross-sectional scans of an object. It transforms 2D images with lines into a domain of possible line parameters. And then feature extraction is applied. For feature extraction, here we are using HOS, trace transform and DWT methods to extract features. HOS is a non-linear method which captures subtle changes in image pixels. HOS invariants have been used for safe recognition and to identify different kinds of eye diseases. And then trace transform. Trace transform is a generalized approach to the radar transform and consists of tracing on image with straight lines along certain functionals of the so-called image function. The purpose of a functional is to characterize a function by a number Different functionals are used to represent rotation, translation and scaling invariant features of an image. In many cases, these features correlate well with the visual textures and then DWT based variant features are extracted. In the first level of 2D DWT yields, four resultant matrices, namely horizontal, vertical, diagonal and approximation. Whose elements are intensity values. Average and mean value values are calculated the features and then extracted features are learned and passed through SVM classification. Finally, SVM classify whether the given input image is affected by glucoma or normal. Now let us see the execution of the program. First we select main.m file and click run for it. And this is open dialog box. Uh, these are the total images in our data set. We can select any one of this. I select this image. Uh, process is going on. Yeah. yeah, this is our original image. And this is our histogram equalization image. Here, enhancement is done. And then this is a tra radiant transform. It transforms 2D images with the lines into a domain of possible line parameters where each line in the image will give a peak that is positioned to reflect the corresponding line parameters. And then 
Three types of features are extracted. HYS, trace transform, and DWT based features are extracted. Histogram uh, HYS features are extracted and saved in test features. This is a DWT based feature. This is approximate, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal features. Uh, we will take the average and mean value from those images as a features and then we will pass to SVM classifier then SVM returns our given input image is a normal image it's not affected by glaucoma in our proposed work we have presented a new automatic glaucoma diagnosis system using a combination of HYS, TT and DWT feature extracted from digital fundus images our system using um, SVM classifier was able to detect glaucoma and normal classes with an accuracy of 93.4783 percentage and specificity of 95 percentage and sensitivity of 92 percentage thank you